and CAT scan. They're both non-invasive diagnostic tools a doctor will use to look inside the body. They're both used to pinpoint cancer but have very different objectives and methods. So PET scan measures activity within a cell. Okay, it doesn't have to be cancer, but cancers tend to be more active than the surrounding tissue. PET scan stands for positron emission tomography. It uses sugar marked with a radioactive molecule. Active cells consume sugar and therefore are able to be tracked. So they will then concentrate or absorb a lot more of that radioactive molecule and it will sit within that cancer for a period of time. And then using a camera, we can see where that radioactivity is. While the PET scan allows doctors to distinguish between living and dead tissue, the CAT or computerized tomography scan offers a different perspective. CAT scans, for example, measure density. And if you have something in, for example, the liver. The CAT scan detects changes in the body structure, such as the size, shape, and exact location of an abnormal growth. So when I see somebody that has either breast cancer or colon cancer or lymphoma or many other malignancies, you want to make sure that you have a clear understanding of where their tumors are. Alone, each imaging test has its benefits and limitations, but by combining these two state-of-the-art technologies together, doctors can more accurately diagnose and monitor cancer. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.